Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'm going to show you how to play Fall Guys on Linux. I actually had published a previous version of this video, but I had thought that you could only play Fall Guys in solo mode because for some reason the EOS overlay wasn't enabled, even though I did enable it. But just keep watching to find out how I actually got it to work where I can accept and send out invites. And these instructions are specific to installing them through the Epic Games Store. If you already paid for Fall Guys when it was available and have it downloaded or you could download it through Steam, these are probably not the instructions for you. Now there's many different installers for installing Windows software and specifically the Epic Games Store and Fall Guys. I actually tried installing Fall Guys using Lutris, using Bottles, and using the Heroic Games Launcher. So the way I got it to work was first, you're going to want the Heroic Games Launcher, but you're going to want the beta. And the best way to get the beta version is to go to the website, which I'll link in the description below. And you're going to want to go to Downloads. You're going to want the app image version and not the stable version, but the beta version. But once you click that, you can download it. Actually, I already have it downloaded and on Linux, you just want to remember to right click the app image, go to permissions and allow executing the file as a program. You just do a double click and you're here. Now I already have Fall Guys installed, but the very first step for you is to go to the stores. I'm already signed into the Epic Games Store, so you're not seeing the login option, but you'll see a sign in. It'll ask for your Epic credentials. And then once you log in, it'll load up a web browser so you can log in and sync up. Now, after you've set this up, it's going to sync up with your library of games. And Fall Guys is free on Epic Games. So for me, it showed up automatically here. Fortunately, you can just launch and start playing it. You got to do a few tweaks first. You want to go to advanced. And I already have the EOS overlay. So on your end, you're going to want to hit install and you can check for updates if you want. But this is going to be a key thing that's going to help you play the game online. Now, the next thing you're going to want to look at is this guide on Reddit. Fall Guys is using the easy anti-cheat, which gets in the way of playing the game on Linux, especially. So you're going to have to do this tweak. Now, this is specific to Lutris, but it actually ended up working for me with the heroic games launcher. So we'll skip to step two and it's going to want you to go to the directory where Fall Guys is installed and you're going to change this file called Fall Guys underscore clients dot INI and change the first line to this line of text here. So you just copy that. You're going to go to the Fall Guys folder, which if you're using heroic, it's this home games heroic Fall Guys. And here's the INI file. Once this opens, you can just copy, paste, and then save. I already have it pasted, so I'm just going to hit this card. And once you save that, go back to the guide. It wants you to copy this file, easy anti cheat underscore x64.so. You're going to copy it to a folder in that same Fall Guys folder called Fall Guys underscore client underscore game underscore data slash plugins x86 underscore 64. So let's do that here. So it's referring to this folder. And this is the .so file. So you just hit copy. Go back here and you want to put it in this folder. Here you go to plugins x86. And then you just hit paste. I already have it pasted there. Now, for this part, you can ignore everything because the beta version of Heroic already has the latest DXVK. Could go in the settings and turn off eSync and make sure that Easy Anti Cheat is enabled, which it is. You can go to Settings, General, and actually it's Wine Extensions. Just make sure Easy Anti Cheat Runtime is enabled. You can enable some of these other options here if you'd like. Okay, so this is the part where I think it might be a little bit unintuitive. 
but you actually have to click on the game itself, not the gear icon, but just the game, and you'll see some additional settings. So then you have to click tools, and here you also have to activate the EOS, which I think is redundant because you already enabled it in the global settings. So that's the only part that I left out in the original version of the video. And then the other thing to keep in mind is that you want to be using Proton 27. So if you go back to the wine manager, you can go ahead and install Proton 27 or later. Probably by this time you've already hit installed and now you can just launch the game. For some reason the recording is not picking up the sound, but here we are, you've launched into the game. But now I'll switch over to my Twitch playthrough, where I played with my good friend. And you can see that I can accept the invite. By the way, if you want to watch some Linux game streaming, you can follow me over at Twitch. I go by GeoProton there. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is a fairly easy way to get Fall Guys installed? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and you'll be seeing a future video on more games on Linux. If you're enjoying my videos, you can support the channel on LibreaPay or Patreon and check out some more videos on YouTube, Odyssey, or PeerTube. And feel free to follow me on Mastodon or Twitter. See links in the description below.